You, know, you wonder why an uh, old watercolor painter ends up making books. Uh, it, it's, uh, I love the fact that, that I can reach here and I can pick up this book. Uh, and I've entered, first of all, a physical space. A physical, tactile. It's engaged sense touch. It's engaged uh, sound. It's employed my ears. One of another sense. It's in, you know, depending on the age. If it's an old book, you smell it. If it's a new book, it's got a, it's got an aroma to it. I mean, you enter all these, this aspect long before you enter the. You've got a three-dimensional world that opens the door to a three-dimensional spiritual world. Which is what you know. You start here, and pretty soon you've got a three-dimensional uh, uh, thing going on in two ways. And and I also like the fact that if you open this up, it's got uh, this book has uh, it's got 277 pages in it, plus the cover. So that's 279 moving parts. And I like the whole idea of an object, a kinetic piece of sculpture with moving parts that engages my senses and tells me how to find my way through it, like this. It's guiding me. So there, here's this little art object that's doing all these incredible things with you and with your senses. Whereas that other thing, if you're looking at a painting, uh, you're dealing with uh, uh, a different kind of space and a different kind of uh, Emotions. It's an illusionistic space, and and there's a there's a marriage between real and illusionistic space here. And I like that marriage. I like the fact that you're putting parts together to create. You get them, you get it right, and you got this this whole notion of, and you can carry it around with you, and you can sleep with it. And uh, so I like I like a, a, a book because it has all these parts, and I give all these parts something to do. <clears throat> and that's why the books I make have moving parts, and things that rattle, and things that smell. I don't want that to begin to sound like I'm performing. I don't want that to sound like, oh boy, look at all these things that I can make a book do. I don't want it to sound like that. I want it to sound like a whole. Not, not a thing of parts, but a whole. Just like a painting is a whole thing. And I've talked about parts, but the, the, the challenge is to pull it together and, and have moving parts. And, and that's why a lot of my books are blank. Uh, 